Welcome to part three of Layout of Print Books Pages. And in this video, we're going to look at how to use paragraph styles. They're similar to styles in Microsoft Word. It's going to save a lot of clicking buttons, etc. if you can set up styles and just click formatting for certain types of text here and there, such as the body text or the chapter headings. So let's start by selecting all the text. The first thing you need to make sure is activated is the type tool. So click on the T in the toolbox, then click inside the text box. Anywhere in that first page is fine. Then go up to edit and select all and you'll see anywhere we click all the text is highlighted. So I'm going to scroll back to the first page. Well, first page of text so we can have a look at what's going on. I'm going to ask you now to open the paragraph styles palette to do this go up to the type menu and click on paragraph styles and you'll see there that it has a default style called normal with a plus after it now if you click on that plus watch what happens to the text oh it changes into something you probably don't want it's still got a plus there as well which means there's variation in the formatting itself so let's now open normal and you can do that a number of ways. I'm going to suggest you right click on it and select edit normal. You left click on it then. If you are using a single button mouse like on a Mac then hold down control so you can simulate a right click. Then we go into this particular dialog box on normal and you'll see the style name normal. Well let's call it something else because just to make it distinct and to show you can do it this way. Body text based on no particular paragraph style. Go over to the left hand side where it says basic character formats. Click on that. I'm going to suggest here that you use something simple like Adobe Garamon Pro. I'm going to look for it on this menu and it's often under G rather than A for uh, Adobe Garamon Pro. And I'm just using that because it's such a a common font and that most of you will have it. Uh, the size at 11 points is actually not bad uh, but I'm going to change it just to show that we can do it differently. I'm going to change that to 11.5 and the leading which is the spacing between lines and I know it looks like leading but it's leading after the strips of lead that used to be put between the rows of type. I'm going to suggest for this book that you don't use the default one. Mm, 14 might be okay. I'm going to bump that up to 15 actually. So 15 points of space between each line. Don't worry about the kerning and the tracking of the other ones there. But go back up to the left hand corner and click on indents and spacing. I'd like you not only to uh, have the left alignment but left justify. That means straight left and right margins but the bottom line of each paragraph will uh, be left aligned. And with indentation, what I would like you to do is in uh, not the whole block of text, but the first line of every paragraph. So this option here, I'd like you to indent by five or six millimeters. Uh, I'll leave it at five for the moment. And they are the only parameters or attributes that I'm going to suggest for body text now. Let's click on OK and see what effect it has. All right. One thing that I've missed out there is I've got first line indentation, but there's spacing between the paragraphs. If you want to get rid of that, very simple, just right click on body text, edit again, go back to indents and spacing, and see where it says space after, get rid of that. So it's zero, then click on OK, and you can see you've got rid of that. Now indentation of first lines in paragraphs is what is normally used in novels, memoirs, etc., and in newspapers. But the very first paragraph in a chapter or a section doesn't usually take any indentation. So we need to create another style and I'm going to click on the paragraph styles palette in the top right hand corner, not on the cross but on the little arrowhead beneath and go new paragraph style. I'm going to call this body text opener or start or whatever you want to call it there. You can name that and to save a lot of time I'm going to base it on the body text so I don't have to redo all the basic character formats. I'm going to go straight to indents and spacing 
and the only variation I want is that the first line is not indented. So I'm going to click that down to zero millimeters, then click OK. Now nothing seems to have happened to that first paragraph because I haven't yet clicked on body text opener, but watch what happens now. Aha, uh -huh, we've got rid of that indentation on the first line in a chapter. Now we can apply these to all the first paragraphs in every chapter in a minute, but there is one more paragraph style I'd like to set up, and that is the one for the chapter heading. So I'm going to create a new one, click on that little arrow head near the top right, and new paragraph style, and let's call it uh, chapter heading. And uh, you could base it on the body text opener, but I don't think there's any necessity to do that. I'm going to use no paragraph style, set it up from scratch. I'd like a sans serif font to complement the serif body text. So for this one, look, I'll keep it simple and I'll just go for something like Calibri. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, I'll make it a bit bigger. So it's what about 16 points? Look, I might bold it just to show, you know, if you do want it bold, you can do it. You may not like the look of bold it. I'll keep the letting at 15 though. And a couple of other things I need to do in indents and spacing. I'd like to center the alignment. So there we go. I don't want any first line indentation here or space before and after. So all I need to do here is click on OK. Now click anywhere on the chapter one heading. You don't have to highlight the whole thing and click on chapter heading and there it is. All right, now the beauty is I can now go through to all the chapter headings and do that by clicking on it. So I'm going to click on chapter two and click on chapter heading. Bang, it's done. The first paragraph of the chapter, click on body text opener. Bang, it's done. Now I'm going to go through the rest of the document without showing it to you and do just that. There is one more thing though I want to caution you about before I apply all those styles. On the very first page, and I've seen a lot of beginner designers do this, not leaving much space at the start of a chapter, I suggest a fair bit of space. And I'm just going to click down now. I'm just having a look at how it appears on the page. And uh, I reckon that looks pretty good. You know, plenty of space there. If you want to see those paragraph marks, go up to type, the type menu, and go all the way down to the bottom where it says show hidden characters and click that so they actually show. Now you can see how many characters there are at the start. I might actually make them all uh, body text here just so you can count them evenly so there's no uh, confusion. Yeah, I think that's good to make them all body text. So there are one, two, three, four, five paragraph marks at the start. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you need to do that for every chapter. Now, some people will tell you, no, you should set up spacing for the chapter heading so it's exactly uh, right every time. You can do that. Uh, and, you know, that's good advice, but I actually find it's easier to do this. I'm going to apply that to the rest of the document. But for now, we'll finish this video and we're ready for the next one. Don't forget to save. Thank you for watching and please remember to comment, like or subscribe if you'd like to view more videos about indie book publishing.